Hello everyone, and today we're going to do a quick snippet of Dwarven Law, uh, and this is a bit of an obscure one called Ancestor Badges. So as we know, Dwarves make a great many decorative pieces uh, out of their typical gold, silver, bronze and gems, but of these the most important are the Ancestor Badges, carried upon their standards, carved into shields, fashioned into helmets, designs, or worn as brooches and necklaces. And during this video I'll just quickly show some of those that I've seen on the models and they do crop up a lot across the range. The ancestor badges each depict one of the dwarf's ancestors or the dwarf ancestor gods. The most common of these are the Grungni, Grimnir and Valir as well as some of the minor ancestor gods as well. However each hold and clan also has its own ancestor badges to commemorate the lives and deeds of famous and lauded kings, thanes, engineers and other dwarves of the past. As a beardling grows up, he will learn the identification of the various ancestor badges used by his clan, and as he comes of age, he will choose those he feels best represents his skills and his values. Thus, a learned eye can tell much about a dwarf and his attitude from the ancestor badges he wears. Now, I've looked across the model range, and basically, they appear a lot across most of the models, and some of them are very clear, like in the banners, but a lot of time you can see them off the weapons of like the engineers, and even on the war machines they appear. And it's one of those little details that I've only found in a couple of snippets in the law, specifically um, an outfit book that by Games Workshop called Grudge Law, which is quite expensive now on eBay. Um, but this is the first time I've seen it, and then the only other place from the wiki which just references that book. So hopefully that gives you guys a little bit of an insight into some dwarf lore, uh, and hopefully I can bring you some more in the future. Thanks again.